Hi, in today's video I am going to show you how you can access previous and current bar data in MQL5. So as you can see, I have just created a new expert advisor and the first thing we have to do is create an array of type MQL rates. MQL rates is a structure that holds information about previous bars such as the open, the close, the high and the low, and actually a few more things. So let's just go all the way up here and create the array as a global variable. So let's just say MQL rates, let's call it bar. And the next thing we have to do is set the array as a series. We are going to do that inside our onInit function. So let's just say array set as series. We have to pass our array as a parameter as well as the value true. What this function does is it takes our array and treats it like a series, which basically means that all new elements will be placed at the beginning of the array and not at the end. So the most up to date data will be found at index zero compared to a normal array where new data will be put at the end, at the last index of the array. Now we can go inside our onTick function and in here we can use a function called copy rates. So every time the market changes its price, the onTick function will be called and so will the copy rates function be called. Copy rates offers us three different ways of calling the function, we are going to choose the first one. First off, we have to pass the symbol we want to get the data from. I'm just going to say underscore symbol, which is the current symbol I'm on. So symbol, then we have to pass the time frame. Of course, bar data differs depending on the time frame you are on. I'm just going to say period current, which is the current period. Next off, I have to pass a starting position. I'm going to pass zero, which basically means that I want to get the bar data starting with the current bar, the current bar which is not yet closed. So the bar that is still developing. Then I have to pass a count, let's just say 10, which means I want to get the data from the last 10 bars and I have to pass the array. So the other ways of calling this function offer you the opportunity to pass a time. For example, you could say I want to get the data from yesterday at 2 p.m. or you could pass a start time as well as an end time. But we are just going to stick with the first method. And now you could go ahead and say, for example, bar at the index of zero, which is the current bar, or the last bar, bar one dot. And now you can access a large amount of information, for example, the close, the high, the low, the open, the real volume, the spread, the tick volume, and the time of this bar. So let's say bar one dot open which will give us the open price. And now we could go ahead, put it into a print statement and let's just save it and compile it. And let's check it out inside the strategy tester. Okay, here I am inside the strategy tester. And as you can see, I've already got an entry in our journal, giving us the open price of the previous bar. Remember we have chosen index one and not zero. So it's not the current bar, but the previous bar. The open price was 658. And if I hover right here, you can see the open price was indeed 658. And the current bar is still down here in the process of developing. As you can imagine, there are countless of scenarios where you can use all these bar data from the MQL rates array 
I hope you've learned something new in this video. If you did, feel free to give it a like. And if you are interested in developing your own trading robots or learn more about them, learn how to optimize them, then feel free to subscribe. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.